वेलकम टू माय व्यूज एंड न्यूज सेकंड वीडियो फॉर यू मंडे सेकंड वीडियो फर्स्टली टिगराए रीजनल गवर्नमेंट गैता चौरेदा टिगराए प्रेसिडेंशियल स्पोक्स पर्सन और आफ्टर डेविड बीसली वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम चीफ यस्टरडे गैता चौरेदा अर्ज डेविड बीसली टू टॉक अबाउट डोन स्टाइक ऑन डब्ल्यू एफ टक डब्ल्यू एफ पी टूडे डिनाइड डायरेक्ट डोन स्टाइक ऑन वन ऑफ इट्स ट्रक्स एंड आफ्टर दैट गैत चो अगेन स्पोक अबाउट वट हैपन इन शरारो वट हैपन देयर इन शरारो एंड सेकेंडली एड ऑपरेशन एड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑपरेशन इन टेगराए सीम टू हैव बीन सस्पेंडेड alarming news coming from tigray and lastly viewers egypt is supporting somalia's government in the fight against al shabab we know that uh, uh, last week somalia's government launched a major operation in uh, different regions to uh, counter to wipe out al shabab us turkey egypt are supporting somalia's government and some injured somalia soldiers were transferred to egypt for treatment from somalia we have details for you firstly viewers we know that yesterday gatha choreda urged david beasley World Food Program chief to condemn a drone strike conducted by Ethiopian Air Force allegedly on a World Food Program truck which was carrying aid the strike was carried out near Zana Woreda Tigray uh, shared pictures of the damaged truck as well then today uh, World Food Program spokesperson talked to Reuters and WFP denied any direct attack on its truck in Zana it though confirmed the incident it said that debris of a drone strike hit uh, the truck and uh, truck uh, was slightly damaged uh, driver was a little injured too so overall uh, wfp denied that uh, it struck had been hit in a direct strike it wasn't a direct drone strike on wfp truck uh, obviously uh, embarrassment for gaita choreda because he was asking uh, david beasley to condemn this attack but wfp is uh, denying direct uh, strike on its truck after that gatacho again spoke today and now he wants david beasley to speak about what happened in shiraro gatacho is claiming that world food programs warehouse in shiraro has been looted by iratian forces shiraro is under uh, endf control edf control we shared pictures from shiraro no uh, visual confirmation that tigray forces uh, have retaken shiraro and now tigray government's uh, claim is that in shiraro a wfp warehouse was looted by iratian forces and now gatacho wants david beasley to speak about uh, what happened in shiraro and he is accusing david beasley of going against humanitarian values why is tigray regional government indignant at uh, david beasley because you know that a few days ago uh, during the first week of the start of this third phase of war uh, tigray forces seized wfp's fuel around 600000 liters of fuel of wfp was seized by force by tigray forces and back then david beasley spoke he criticized tigray regional government saying that the move would uh, disrupt and, dis- and and it would harm uh, aid distribution activities uh, in tigray he accused tigray forces of stealing wfp uh, fuel that is why tigray government is after him especially gaita choreda but uh, wfp position is that no direct don strike was conducted on its truck in azana 
near Zana. Now, what about Shiraro? Let's see. Maybe in some coming uh, humanitarian situation reports, UNOCHA will speak about uh, what happened in Shiraro. Does WFP have access to Shiraro? Are there WFP workers in Shiraro? So maybe it might take some time for WFP to see, uh, to confirm what happened there. But the government is accusing Eritrean forces that they looted uh, WP warehouse in uh, Shiraro. Secondly, words, aid distribution operations uh, have been suspended in most parts of Tigray, an alarming development. Tigray has around more than 30,000 metric tons of food in store in Makale. World Food Program, other aid agencies, they have more than 30,000 metric tons of food supplies in Makale. But distribution has been suspended, uh, firstly due to uh, shortage of fuel and secondly due to ongoing dawn strikes and air strikes. Though yesterday's dawn strike was not direct attack on WFP truck, but still the truck was uh, damaged, driver was injured. So how can aid workers continue their activities, their operations, while uh, drones are flying overhead conducting dawn strikes and air strikes? So aid distribution suspended its alarming development. Why? Because people of Tigray were already dependent upon aid. Uh, and uh, there is food insecurity in Tigray. Now aid is there lying uh, pending distribution in Makale, but it cannot be distributed to far off areas. It means that uh, if this war goes on and if aid is not distributed, people uh, could die of hunger in uh, villages, in outskirts of cities. And I don't think these aid operations will be possible if this uh, uh, intensified air campaign continues against Tigray, which is ongoing. At least there must be some sort of humanitarian pause uh, in Tigray by Ethiopian federal forces for a few hours so that this aid should be delivered to the other cities by WFP, not by uh, Tigray regional government. WFP has its staff in Makale. The staff can transport this aid to other cities from where uh, the aid can be distributed to nearby areas. Otherwise, uh, tens of thousands of metric tons of food in Makale in stores and people are dying of hunger. Lastly, words, uh, Egypt is supporting Somalia, Turkey is supporting Somalia. U.S. as well Africa Union too in the ongoing new operation launched against Al-Shabaab. Al-Shabaab in control of around one third of Somalia is under pressure. Last week uh, in different regions of Somalia, in Galmadug, in uh, Jubbaland, in Hiran regions, uh, Regional forces, federal forces, militias, they launched a joint offensive to take back territories which are under Al-Shabaab control. U.S. Air Force is supporting, uh, U.S. Africa Command is supporting, air strikes are being conducted. Turkey has also announced to support this operation. Egypt sent two planes carrying aid for displaced people, for drought-stricken people and uh, uh, Africa Union uh, is also providing logistical support. Mainly locals have decided to rise against uh, Al-Shabaab and local militias, uh, politicians, uh, tribal elders, they have taken up arms. That is why reportedly Al-Shabaab is on the back foot. Uh, several uh, villages have been retaken by uh, Somalia's government forces in Iran, in other regions of uh, Somalia, though uh, Al-Shabaab is hitting back as well because uh, yesterday uh, in Mogadishu, Janel uh, Dhagabadan uh, military facility, which is a training center, was hit in a suicide blast. 
and uh, around 15 recruits were killed. One major of uh, Somali National Army was also killed in an ID explosion. So, regional federal forces, militias, tribal elders, politicians, uh, regional players, uh, they have decided to strike a decisive blow to Al-Shabaab. That is why this operation is ongoing. Egypt is also supporting. Egypt, which has been trying to gain a foothold in Somalia, is supporting Somalia. Uh, and injured Somalia soldiers are being transported to Egypt, where they'll be treated. We have a clip for you showing... Uh, Somalia's injured soldiers who were injured in the ongoing operation against Al-Shabaab, they were shifted to Egypt where they'll receive medical treatment. Watch this clip. لتنفيذ إجراءات الإخلاء الطبي لعدد من مصابي الجيش الصومالي إثر إصابتهم خلال العمليات الإرهابية بالصومال لتلقي العلاج بمستشفيات القوات المسلحة وقامت إدارة الخدمات الطبية على الفور برفع حالة الاستعداد بمستشفيات القوات المسلحة التي تم نقل المصابين إليها من خلال عدد من عربات الإسعاف المجهزة طبياً